Um, well, we've got some guests joining us today from the Unity Dance Troupe. Our, uh, some of my favorite guests, Alexis Burleson and Catherine Griesmer, and um, they did a fabulous job with the Dreamer. But you guys are here to, to share some exciting news that I just found out about and <laughs> blew my mind. Uh, but you, you've got the veil coming up as well as a, a big move for you guys. A big move. Yeah, um, we have two veils coming up in April. April 9th will be coming to Abba's house. And April 21st and 22nd, we are going to the Wink Theater in Dalton, Georgia. Um, mm. So that'll be a fun, it's also a Rockbridge Church. So we're partnering with them and bringing the veil down there so, okay. to Dalton. Nice. But uh, yeah, in addition to that, we are moving studios. Uh, we outgrew our current space. Nice. Um, we're busting at the seams. We have no room. We literally have kids crawling out of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> like It's really bad. So um, we, needed, we needed more space. So uh, Dick's Graphics moved buildings in December and we took their old building, renovated everything, put our mirrors up, new floor. <coughs> we have two studios now. Um, as I said uh, before we got on the air that uh, the big studio is almost 2,000 square feet. It's, it's huge and we're really grateful. And um, there's no poles like support beams <laughs> in the way and so it's just like one big <laughs> open room. So we're really excited about this move. Um, we have our grand open house this Saturday from 12 to 4. So we would love for anyone to come. We're actually having a rehearsal for The Veil during mm -hmm. that time. So if you come tour the studio, you can also watch rehearsal and see how The Veil kind of progresses. Um, now, if someone's interested in uh, dancing with you, are you still taking applications? I mean, it sounds like you're you're just you, you're busting at the seams. So, where's what's your cutoff? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're trying not to have a cutoff. Uh, okay. so, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we are currently enrolling, um, and so uh, to. This Saturday, we're definitely going to still have um, open enrollment. And we take all ages from three years old. I think our oldest student is like 65 or 70 years old. Mm -hmm. So they're all welcome. Well, and, and if... Uh any, if you were able to see the dreamer uh, or the veil, because you've done that uh, now for a few years, uh, there's such talent there, and it's amazing the uh, the range of talent that you have from young to old. And you've got uh, Catherine, who's just a, a wonderful dancer. And do you teach, Catherine? Yes, okay. um, I started teaching at Unity in the fall, and it's just been an amazing experience just to get to take something you love so much and then get to impart it to your students and see them blossom in that. So fulfilling. Right. So. Do you have a particular uh, dance that you teach? Is it a ballet or uh, <laughs> do, do you do just a gamut of, of a variety of dance? Yeah, I teach um, a couple different styles. My favorite is ballet, I'm partial, but I also teach um, some kid classes. I've taught ballet and tap to kids and then I also teach a modern contemporary class. So it's a lot of fun to stretch yourself and in, in not only improving in those styles but then helping other others to do the same. Right. Now do you have people that come just to to dance like that that aren't necessarily in the show? Oh, oh yes we have sure. a, a big school that's not in the company. The company only has about 70 to 80 people mm -hmm. and we have over 160 students so um, okay. not everyone who's in the or dances at our studios in the company. Um, uh, actually, next year we're going to open a, a veil for kids because um, right now the cutoff for the company is um, 14 years old. You have to be 14 or older, mm -hmm. but starting in the fall we'll be having a veil for ages 3 to 13 so that everyone can be God's creation and we'll have like the bugs and the butterflies mm -hmm. and we'll have all of basically the creation story but for kids because um, they, they need to be a that's part of be cool. God's yes. creation too. Yes. Um, so that's what we'll be doing starting next year. Oh, that's fun. Now, do you guys do all of your own set? Oh, yes. We build everything ourselves. We even make all of our costumes in-house. So we'll buy like a leotard and then we'll add things. And okay. we have an incredible costume designer. Her name's Lauren Leggett. And she designed almost all of the Dreamer costumes. Um, and then we just get a bunch of our students together who feel inclined to sewing. <laughs> and we just try. <laughs> and it always seems to work out. The Lord's really faithful in that way. So Well, and, and it's beautiful. It's very professional. Uh, the, the set uh, from the Dreamer and the costumes. And um, I... I I knew that, but just wanted to ask if all of it was done in house. Yeah, um, pretty much everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. a lot of um, dancer time and hours, and sweat, and 
laughter and crying goes into this thing. And what's great too is we don't just keep it to our company. Um, we've had people mm -hmm. that just want service hours, mm -hmm. but feel inclined to painting, building, or sewing. And because we're a nonprofit, we can give service hours for like community building activities. So we'll have people from the community come in and be like, I can sew, and we'll bring them in, teach mm -hmm. them what to do, and they help us build our costumes. So it's a real great community building um, uh, thing that has kind of blossomed out of out of unity. Right. You have to stick around and watch our next guest, Susan Hyder. She's going to do a little how-to basic sewing. Oh my Very goodness! Cool. We need to we need to hook up. Miss yeah. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> she's a character. She she would enjoy helping. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. uh, she has the time. <laughs> um, she, she's busy too. I'm, I know, but um, you guys do such a, a remarkable outreach as well during the show, and that that was something that I found. Uh, it was so meaningful at the end because the dreamer was about, uh, or is about Joseph and his story, and uh, so at the end, you 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 know, um, really kind of proclaim that message and honor the Lord and and. You know, you, you open people's eyes to that. Well, our hope is to not only show an incredible story, but to remind people that these stories are not exceptions, but they are like examples. Um, like Bible characters are not like a one-time thing. Like they're for mm -hmm. us to look at and to see our own life inside of it. And so that's our hope at the end of The Veil, at the end of Dreamer, and then all the other shows that we're going to create in the future is to allow the audience to see a piece of their own heart and to call that out of them and like for a dreamer it's you know that you never let your dreams die even in the midst of like awful awful circumstances mm -hmm. and to watch Joseph walk through all of the things that he went through and yet still at the end the very last uh, word in the show is um, thank you for proving to me that I can trust in a God that I can't see and so seeing all the things that he went through and yet at the end of his life saying I can trust you even though I can't see you mm -hmm. um, that's our story. Like that's us today. Like we go through all kinds of stuff and yet somehow at the very end God is always on the other side being so faithful and like directing everything that we do so that in the end I'm like oh my goodness Lord like you've done so much for me that I never thought was possible. Um, so just to make that relatable to everyone and to remind everyone that they are their own Joseph in their story. There are their, their own Adam or their own Eve or whatever character they're that um, we're representing on the show. Right. Well, and it does. It makes it, uh, it. It makes it tangible for people. You know, especially kids who who read it. And a lot of times, I don't think you grasp the reality of of the Bible stories and of Joseph and all the things that yes, he did go through. And and. And, and never lost faith. Maybe question God, right. and, and but he never truly lost his faith. It was always there. It just was diminished <laughs> in, yeah. in different circumstances to some degree. But yes, and God was always so faithful. Yeah, and that's something we, we get a lot after shows, and people will say, you know, I read this story, and it's so dry. Um, I, I, I get that a lot from people. They're like, I try to read the Bible, and it feels dry, but then when I watch it, because it's such mm -hmm. a visual thing, um, they're like, it just makes sense, and all of a sudden I, I see it from a different perspective. And so just kind of bringing God's Word to life through dance, um, I think, is a niche that needs to be filled. Yes. Well, you do a beautiful job, all of you do, and uh, I'm so proud of you. It was just very impressive, and I hope um, The Veil is, uh, once again, very successful because that was your, uh, I guess, your inaugural uh, mm -hmm. performance or ballet that you had written. Yes. And We're really excited about it. It's all new this year. We've added tap yes. dancing penguins, and we've added, we've added so much. We've added hip-hop monkeys and <laughs> elephants. We've added elephants yes. this year which is a new animal. We've never done that, so we're still in the middle of building that costume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, are they um, dancing elephants? They are <laughs> dancing elephants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, uh, you, still, you said you had a video for us to watch? Or? I do. I've That's got right. that queued up here. If you don't mind, we can watch that real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready, Jay? I'm ready. I love to dance. I love to dance. I love to dance. I love Unity Dance Studios. I love to dance. I love Unity Dance Studios. I love to dance.
can go back to that. Rewind that back yeah. just a little bit there, you Josh. Wanna I want to cut the audio on the pro presenter. Yeah. So um, if you can, just briefly remind everybody um, when your uh, open house is going to be. Yes, it's January 28th, um, and it'll be from 12 to 4. It's this coming Saturday um, at uh, 801 20th Street Northwest. Uh, it's right across from Stewart Elementary, um, and everyone's welcome, all ages, whether you're enrolling or not, just wanted to come look at our studio. We would love for you to come. Uh, and we were also rehearsing for the veil, so if you'd like a sneak peek into the new the all new veil this year you're definitely um, invited to join us um, one last thing I wanted to mention is we definitely have a really large homeschool niche for our classes so if you're a homeschool student um, we are kind of partial because we were both homeschooled and so uh, we love our homeschool students so if you are homeschooled and you're looking for an earlier class we definitely offer those as well as the evening classes nice. that's great you may see some dancing elephants or cat dancing <laughs> penguins <That's right. laughs> at the That's rehearsal. Right. <laughs> you never know. Well, thank you both for joining us today. I'm so excited. And the veil, one more time, will be at Abba's House. Abba's House, April 9th, and uh, at the Wink Theater in Dalton, Georgia, on April 21st and 22nd. Nice. Very yeah, if you wouldn't fun. mind, um, shoot me an email on that, and we'll get some more. Um, we'll put it in our calendar of events. Let people know Great. that you're going to be at Abba's House. And then I know the. Uh, open this weekend, so we we can run. We'll run that ad a few more times the rest of this mm -hmm. week. But uh, I know you've just got in there re relatively oh, yes. recently. So once the if the dust settles and if you have time to take a couple pictures of the new location, yeah. you so guys want to come back and um, share them with us. That'd be great. It's okay. beautiful. Okay. Yes. It's a lot of work. <laughs> and just to remind everybody, if you if you don't know where it's at, it used to be the old Dick's, Dick's Graphics, graphics. Mm -hmm. right on 20th Street, so uh, 801 20th Street South. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Northwest. Uh, 12 to 4 on the 28th, so if you want to go by on the open house. Uh, anything else that you'd like to share with some folks? We're really grateful to be a part of this community, and um, we hope to continue to grow and let Unity always be an outreach and help people realize their dreams. Nice, and we thank you very mm -hmm. much for being with us, and uh, we'll take a quick break, and I believe we have Miss Susan Hyder ready to come in here and get our learn on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a, yeah, we'll take a quick break and we will be right back.